Hello, my name is Patrick Dowden. I'm with Automation Southwest. Uh, we're working with Burns Controls on a machine vision application out of Progressive Steel. Uh, our sales engineer at Burns Controls is Mike Eklund. Uh, the system we're looking at is uh, bundles of nails as they come through the uh, manufacturing process. Uh, in this case, the bundles of nails are uh, uh, put together with this kind of a glue material so that they can be put into a, a nail gun as a cartridge. Uh, the images we have here, we, cap we captured on site down in Dallas at the Progressive Steel uh, factory. Uh, the machine was not running at the time, so we were just clicking through and getting some of these images. Um, the short answer of what we found here is uh, uh, we were looking for two major facets. One of them is the count of the quantity of nails. The other one is uh, the alignment of the nails. Uh, for our purposes here, we will call it a partial success because we were very successful in counting the quantity of nails and failing if we were short on any nails. Uh, but the alignment, I think we're going to be able to get there, but we will need to do some better fixturing so that we have a lot more repeatability uh, of the nails coming through into the center channel of the conveyor. Uh, and also the lighting will need to be greatly improved. Uh, I, I didn't have a great deal of uh, uh, available lighting to test with when I collected these images, uh, but I do think we can get there with a good... Uh, alignment uh, uh, test when the time comes. Uh, but let's just go over what we have right now. Um, this machine vision inspection is actually very, very, very short. It's only a, a handful of tools here. The inspection itself is the imaging task. The line find tool establishes an origin point. So as we click through, we can see the origin change. So if there's a little bit of adjustment from one bank of nails to the next, we can move our tools uh, accordingly. Uh, the, the wide edge point find tool is basically what we're using to count the quantity of nails. So we're looking for the light dark transitions and how many of those is equivalent to how many nails. And then there's a little basic tool at the bottom. Uh, the basic tool is, is uh, just used to generate pass fail statistic. Um, let's look at it in the display mode. It's a little bit prettier. Um, as you're looking at this, as I click through, the frame around the overall image will be green or red to indicate pass or fail. Also, the, the Boolean outputs here, failed will be uh, uh, false for a good image, uh, and passed will be true for a good image, and vice versa. So as I click through these, you'll see what we're really doing here is we're passing and failing based on the count, the quantity of nails. So as you look through, you'll, you'll see the images change, and if it's green, you'll see that we've got all 28 nails. As we click through, we'll get to one that's red, and it's missing. So right here, we're missing the nail on the end, and we were able to detect that missing nail. And again, we've got one missing in the middle. So we're counting the number of nails. See the yellow spots is telling us we're one short here. Um, so in terms of uh, counting the nails, we're successful with the really, really basic lighting we have. Uh, in terms of testing for alignment, uh, we're actually passing some that we would really pr prefer to fail because the alignment is off. This is a good example of that. Um, we will need, we, we would definitely need better fixturing. Uh, and another thing I would, would like to point out is we're probably going to do better with a better, um, uh, a better lens because a telecentric lens uh, is is what's used for for getting rid of uh, a fisheye effect. If you look at this, this is actually a straight piece of metal on the bottom and a straight piece of metal on the top. But if you look at the curvature. You can see this, this curving effect here. So an actually straight piece of metal looks curved because of this fisheye effect. Uh, you get that when you're close in on a wide field of view. Uh, it's, it's not uncommon in, in machine vision to have to uh, correct something with a telecentric lens. So that's something we're going to have to factor in. Uh, in general, though, I would say this is a, a very promising application. We're very good on counting the nails uh, with the right lensing and lighting, I'm very confident we can also check for the alignment. Uh, so in, in general, uh, if you have any questions, you can get in touch with me. Again, my name is Patrick. I'm with Automation Southwest, uh, or you can reach Mike Eklund at Burns Controls. Thanks very much.